What's up, everybody? Welcome back to ATS. As you can see, did a thing. Got the Peterbilt. I think it just makes more sense long term. We'll be able to throw a cab on here, a sleeper, and do long hauls. So today, hauling some live cattle out of this farm. You guys know how it goes. Let's get that out of there. Let's hop in the truck and let's get on the road. Drive safe. So the GPS doesn't work. Um, so we're just going to act like the phone is broken, but uh, the GPS lady is going to talk to us. So I think that makes the most sense. Let's get her in gear. I think my brakes might be in. They are. Let's get the air out. Let's get going. This thing's going to struggle a little bit. It's not a whole lot of power. And uh, 34,000 pounds back there, so it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. So no GPS, that, that's going to be a struggle. Here we are though, leaving the farm. We're almost at half a tank on this truck. So it must have not came with a full tank. Perfect, see right there. She tells us we got to turn right coming out of the farm here. So that is ideal. That got close. Good that way. Be swinging out, so make sure we're good both ways. And let's get going on the road in this old Peterbilt. It sounds amazing. Eventually, we'll upgrade it to a bigger, more new age motor. But we got our wallet up there on the dash, so if we got to pay any tolls or pick up some food, the tolls nowadays are electronic, which is so strange. The first time I went through one of those, but at work so I was worried I was gonna have to pay and I didn't thank God also we're gonna have this set to back roads um, try not to hit highways just because the this truck maxes out at about 48 that's usually going downhill Did you guys listen to that Jake break a little bit looks like we're good to go Sure, we're still good. Yeah, try not to come to an absolute complete stop because this truck does struggle a little bit. But cool, cool truck, change of scenery. Like I said, I think it just makes more sense in the long run because uh, I wouldn't be able to throw a cab on the Mac R. This one here, once we get a little bit more money and prestige, we'll be able to throw uh, something on there. Get ready to throw a cab on the back of there. And I just gotta be make sure I'm listening to uh, Sky, so we know where we're going. Don't get lost. Could have mapped this one out, but we didn't. As I say, not try not to hit highways. We're hitting one, but sometimes there's just no way around highways, so that's probably the cause of that. So I thought it was a uh, something wrong with it. Something's wrong with the GPS. I just think. Um. SCS hasn't updated it, to be honest. And we gotta pull into the way station. Oh, of course. We gotta exit right anyways. entries this way. Crap. I've been to this one before actually. It's like way out of the way. So we pulled up. Um, oh, it's right here. Interesting. It doesn't look like that map marker updated at all. Yeah, still showing us at the farm. for good. Uh, 
Nothing popped up. So hopefully we don't get hit with a fine there. But I have uh, markers turned off so nothing pops up on my screen anymore. Should be okay. Let's get going on the road again. The fact that I don't have anything here. There we go. flip the truck. <laughs> I thought I would have gone that. Interesting. Oh no, that was the way I came. I'm all turned around now. Gotta get these cattle to Cody. Wyoming, by the way, down, finally down in Wyoming. Which I guess isn't super realistic. Not a cab, but that's okay. This guy barely let us over. Like, I'm in 10th gear right now, and we're maxing out about 42. I'm sure this truck's super loud, but I do apologize about that. But got Yellowstone up here. Been enjoying those uh, Yellowstone shows, but just finished 1883 and I'm in the middle of 1923 now. Hold on. Okay. Because the other one, it sounded like it was taking me off the exit. Because I have it on small roads, so I'm like making sure. I don't see anyone coming up that way. A dead, that's a dirt road. It's a little interesting. I like the way this truck handles, though. It handles actually really nicely. So we'll probably rock this truck out. We probably won't sell this one. We'll probably keep this one. Do the whole series. Alright. So yeah, this is going to be seeing some back roads. These are some twisty road going up here through the mountains, but... It's all right, not the end of the world. Probably should be able to handle them. Just checking the fuel gauge there, so what I have tanks, so that's good. Still love to have a GPS, but it's all right. I like that this truck's not super quick either. It's one, it makes us not go balls to the walls. And two, you can kind of just cruise and really take in the scenery a little more than if you're going quicker. I'm trying to keep that trailer in my lane as much as possible around these sharp bends. It's going to be a little bit of a tough journey, but it's all right. I feel like I'm way over. It's got to be weary of where we are. So we're at Bighorn National Park. Oh, we got a hill. Oh, no. I'm already going slow. This ain't good. But my flasher's on. <laughs> oh, no. I hope I make it. I've never not made it up a hill, knock on wood. I know I got like a, just a trail of cars behind me. Not too bad. Come on, girl. You can do it. Shut those off. Come on. There's quite a bit of weight back there for this truck. Come on, girl. You can do it. So the other problem is, man, I just can't figure out the shifter. So 
I still have automatic shifting, unfortunately. That was a good turn. Just, I like go put it in and put in all my buttons. Not necessarily buttons, but you know, the keys for it. So it's like, you know, this gear, this gear changes, you know, from high to low. I just go in and I put it in gear and it doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't even act like it's in gear. So I must be doing something wrong. Um, if somebody knows how to fix that or if there's like a tutorial out there somebody knows of, maybe I should look into that. I think I'll worry about it more when I move because I'm gonna have to change my. I'm gonna have to rearrange my whole office, anyways. Okay, looks like loans came out. Just making sure we weren't doing it. I know we're not speed, and he came over an hour a little bit there too. Looks like we got another hill. Look at that off into the distance. Wow, what a view. That's what I mean. The views here are just. Quite magical. We got that cops lane there. Don't want to hit him. Yeah. Looks like he could maybe go down there. Not paying attention, but nothing new. <laughs> oh, I love this truck. I'm so happy we switched. I uh, love the Mac R, but this is going to be our truck. Definitely going to be our truck. Can't wait to slow. Uh, you know, throw us a cab on the back of this thing and do some uh, long hauls. Definitely won't be doing any heavy hauls, but that's okay. Oh no, speed limit drops to 40 guys. <laughs> Better not get caught speeding. Wow. Look at the scenic route here, man. It's quite amazing. I think I actually had to slow down for this guy. 65 now. I would assume he'd speed up a little bit, but could be down. Uh, could be wrong. More S turns coming up. Let's peek at the map. Yeah, we'll be staying on the same road for a while. Just kind of wheezing and out of the mountains here in northern Wyoming. Beautiful scenic drive today, which would be nice. No highways. So sometimes it's nice to do these. So I think if I didn't change the setting to do like small roads, I would probably still be on a highway somewhere. And this would be better for a few miles because on the highway I'm just 10th gear, my foot to the floor doing about 48, you know. So these scenic routes probably help our fuel mileage too. Can't imagine it's going to be cheap fueling this thing up. going too quick. Oh, yeah, the car broke down. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was not expecting this large turn. I adjusted my settings a little bit so I have like the suspension's not super stiff so it actually like leans over around turns when you're going kind of fast. I was trying to make this uh, as realistic as possible. Love the head tracker. Feels so much nicer going around these bends with it. Right, adjust our seat a little bit. There we go. My actual seat, not one in game. Like I was sitting a little too high. Jake's pretty aggressive on this truck too, but it's not as bad as the Mac, that's for sure. Do a little bit coming down the hill. Trying to just be at a comfortable speed where we're in control of the truck at all times. Shell Creek, old ranch, old baby ranch there. Go straight on. Thank you, Sky. She letting us know where we gotta go.
I've had that line of cars behind me the whole trip. Poor guys. <laughs> That's all right. Got a triple up here again. That'll be the only annoying thing is getting stuck behind some trucks once in a while, but I think given this truck, we won't really have too many issues with that. Go straight on. Can I actually turn there? Like, I don't think I can. Yeah, we were messing with the GPS, seeing if we can uh, get a fix for it, but nothing right now. I know Mike was having the same issues. That's where I got the idea for this truck, actually, was Mike. I didn't want to copy him to a T, so. Go straight on. We didn't, but. I mean, Cody yet? I don't think so. My turn in here, Sky? Right. Okay. We might have went on the curb a little bit, but I think we're I think we're all right. Cool. I just wanted to see a little deer statue. I thought that was cool. Campground. Go straight on. See, having Sky on there helps a lot with our phone being broke here and the no GPS on the screen. We got 30 miles to Cody. That's where we're dropping. Probably at another farm, I would assume. A little rest area. It's like we were in Grey Bowl, I think I said that, is what that said. Buckle up, state law. <laughs> I can imagine not wearing a seatbelt. Like, I know people that do it, man. It's, it's sketchy. Uh, let's try to get up speed here. Huge rest area. Pretty nice one, too. Looks like an airplane. Might even be an airport. Tough to say. I try to get up speed here. I try not to pull up the map, but I just get curious. <laughs> but I'll let Sky just direct us. I'll just keep left. I low key need gas soon. Might get it after this trip, to be honest. I think it's not good on fuel, but that's accurate. I mean, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. These are pretty long hauls. We might look at doing some smaller ones. Most bang for our buck. I feel like we could double up, do two small ones in like one video, but we'll see. So I mean, like I'm maxed out right now in this truck. But hey, that's all right. We get there when we get there. Not super worried about it. Gotta be getting close. It's, uh, sign said 30 miles. It's a new road here. That caterpillar. Bunch of farms up here in northern Mont uh, Wyoming, actually. Almost said Montana. So used to being in Montana so much, but. It's nice to get a change of scenery. We're in Cody already, so I'd assume we're turning soon. Go straight on. All right, now we're going all straight through all these, so we'll keep on going. Let Sky direct us. Usually, if we turn, she uh, lets us know twice, so should be okay with that. And I know headphone users' trucks probably pretty loud. Uh, we'll enjoy it while we can. Eventually we'll get, you know, more modern truck, but gotta make a bunch of money before we can do that. Could always live stream this and kind of progress a little farther or faster, but... Phantom Fireworks, this exit, huh? Got a Mustang up here next to us. That Jake is pretty loud. <laughs> get some lunch at KFC or even Denny's here. I just hope I'm not turning left soon. <laughs> That's all I'm hoping. Go straight on. Oh, 
was really hoping to get the green there. He says we're going straight still, so let's peek at it here on our phone. We're either turning or that's just a bend. Guess we'll find out. I don't know if I'm going to want to get over or not, though. Tough to say. Gonna get a green soon. thing struggles out of a stop. But hey, it's all good. Another group bank. Kind of looks like there's just a bend, not really a turn. Coming into town, We're going through Cody right now. Not really sure what that sign said. Gotta make that light. So, get to play stop sign simulator again here. <laughs> Sit at these lovely stop signs. Got a Tesla dealership, it looks like, over there. It says Tesla on it, but I see a bunch like a used car lot. A little confusing. Got the arrow. Should get the green light next, then. Guess we'll see. Yeah. Come on, girl. You can do it. This thing does struggle. Like we're doing 15 miles an hour now. <laughs> so we're kinda going around the bend here. That's probably blocked off. I have blockers turned off, which could turn into a problem, but we'll see. straight. I would assume it's a red. These guys are just turning. It just turned red. <laughs> Come on, man. It's good to sit at another stoplight, but I guess what we deal with going through towns. That's okay. I'm gonna go outside view here really quick. Show you the truck. Got some nice chrome mud laps. All uh, dark rims. I like the blue. I think it's really sharp. Hauling some uh, cattle and stuff today. Come on, girl. You can do it. I'm gonna read what the which is say, bad lights. Huh. Oh, another red light. Oh my god. I'll do this one too. Oh, looks like we're going straight up around the bend. Go straight on. Come on. <laughs> I don't think we can get that lucky. Wait for this arrow, and then we can go. So we're going up around the bend, and then our drop-off will be off. To, we've got to turn right up here somewhere and head up farm. A bunch of strip, strip stores. Kind of a cute little town, though. Got an at and I am liking this truck a lot more. I'm way more comfortable in the cab of this truck, if I'm being honest. We'll upgrade it as we can. Uh, as we can. Of course we are. Come on. Every red light. <laughs> this car next to me hit the other red light with us too, though. Got cops sitting up there. Don't need a ticket. Man. There's so many lights we have to go through. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'm on, girl. This thing does struggle from a stop. I would love to get a little, what's like one up of this engine. 
I only got like 250. If I could get like 300, I think that'd be ideal. We also might just have to be a little more weary. Leery, I think is the right word. Of uh, the load size. I was a little nervous about taking this one just because I know kind of about what this truck is. So, we still going straight? Yeah. Go straight nice. We got to time this one. Or not. Oh. Got lucky there. I almost went through it a little too early. But, going we go to the right this time. I think this whole road goes to the right, to be honest. Got some TPs in the yard. That's kind of cool. Still going through Cody here. I feel like half of this trip was just getting through Cody. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, we think we just gotta be wary of the, the pickups we're doing. Trying to keep them probably under 20,000, but this was the only one that was in the area, so figured we'd keep it. Go straight on. Got a Walmart, gas yeah, station. Guys, telling us where to go. Oh, this is cool. I need to make sure that trailer got super close. So I just hit the horn on me. All right, I'm gonna pull up the map now. Ghost going straight. Okay. We got like a like probably where they'd like host a rodeo. That's pretty cool. Never seen that in game. Pretty neat. Oh, this is gonna be a rough ride. Good thing I don't have a motion platform. Probably gonna be just dropping her off in front of us and then we'll empty them where they need to. There's already a cattle up there on that one. Man, finally is right. Driving through Cody forever. Boom, just like that. Put the brakes on. And we are good to go. That's gonna wrap it up. See how we did. Buffalo Bill. Probably holding. Yeah. Alright. $579 is pretty good for a run. Uh hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe we'll do two short runs next episode. But appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, y'all. Peace.